five things I would have paid to find out more spiritual enlightenment and more about learning my spiritual path. Now, the first one would purely be is that to start your spiritual path is more or less feeling, feeling your body, feeling your mind, feeling your soul, feeling the energies around you more than what you think. When we think we can overcomplicate things and we can make things a lot more harder than what they actually are, or we can make them more overwhelming than what they are. So when you start to be in tune with your body, your spirit, your energy, your soul, many people have different things about it, you start to feel more at ease. You start to understand yourself a bit more. You start to realize, hang on a sec, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling drawn to this. Then I am thinking of this. Now, there's many, many different things people do across the world, but that would be my, one of my first ones is to reprogram the brain and go into your soul, go into yourself and discover who you are. Also, number two um, would be meditation. The biggest thing, a lot of people are, I won't say intimidated, but they think, oh, I've got to sit in Buddha pose, doing all the uh, mudras, all the hand. Um, you know, everybody's got different ones. Some people did that for uh, enlightenment and information and knowledge. There's all different ones. But in actual fact, meditation can be as simple and as easy as you want to make it. So for me, my advice would be if you're starting to meditation, put some music on that makes you feel relaxed. Something that makes you feel good, relaxed, and then just shut your eyes and just take some nice deep breaths in through your nose, nice and slow, and out through your mouth. Concentrating on the music, concentrating on your breath as well, will eventually start to, obviously, you're going to have to do this as you go on. Uh, because you can't just sit there and do, right, okay, and it's not working, it takes time. So all I'm going to say to you is just to start off, is just lie there, sit there, listen to some music, breathe, and just see how you go. Now, you might have beautiful visions, you might feel more, you might sense more, um, and all this is just the first step. So if you want to do meditation, start by doing that. It's the basic but first best step for you to do it third thing i would actually say is time now when i started learning this many many years ago i had a beautiful gift from when i was born and was scared of it the time i actually took for myself to understand myself and go hang on a sec it's actually when you look into it and you learn about it, it's actually not that scary. And when you start learning techniques of protection, uh, protecting your energies, protecting yourself as you open up, um, yeah, you find you find a lot of it. It it just takes time, it takes practice and understanding. You ain't gonna do everything in one day. Rome wasn't built in a day, so don't try and force yourself to try and do so much in one day or a week. Or you want to go right? I want to be at the top for the next year. Nobody will ever reach the top because there's so much to learn, so much to evolve and so much to grow. We are human. So for number three, it would purely be take your time and enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, it ain't going to come to you naturally. If you do something you enjoy, that you're drawn to, is always the best way. Now we come to four saying that. Number four is growth. So growth comes in many different ways. You can grow in meditation. You can grow in what you are drawn to, what you're feeling to. What is coming across to you is so detrimental that it could be so powerful. Where you go, oh my Lord, whatever you say. Um, you're like, wow, like I'm really drawn to crystals or I'm really drawn to tarot and I'm really drawn to like meditations and unlocking my third eye, my connection to the spirit world, and many different things. And number four is very powerful, is growth. Do something that you are drawn to. Don't go and do something that as soon as you start doing it, oh, I hate this, I hate this, but I'm forcing myself to do it. Or what I always say is learn about it. If it doesn't feel right for you, that is absolutely fine. But don't be afraid to go. I've learned a bit of it. I understand it. Is it for me? No. I will take the knowledge and see if it can benefit me uh, later on on my spiritual journey and my growth um, and see how it comes across. Now, you might stumble across palmistry. You might go, oh, my God, I love palmistry. I've, got, I've just got a good feeling. I love doing it. I'm really interested in it. That is your growth. And that is for you to do, understand and develop and to learn for you to grow. Think of it like a flower. 
you need the sun. Think of that as knowledge, as allowing yourself to grow. Number five is your spiritual path. Why is your spiritual path so important? Because your spiritual path is about you having an experience of life. Now, that could mean many different things. You'd be going, oh, okay, I don't really understand. Some people might not understand that. But on your life, we all have experiences, good and bad. And your spiritual path is meant for you to either go down some of them routes. You might go, oh, I'm really, I'm really, really emotionally hurt from all this and et cetera, et cetera. But you've got to take it. It's, that it's a lesson to be learned in your life. It's something for you to develop, something to grow from. Uh, and also as well, something to help you in your spiritual path. Go from a bad section to a good section. Now, you might be thinking, well, I don't want to go through the negative no matter what you do in life, even if you try and dodge it, something negative will come to you because it's meant to teach you, it's meant to learn, you're meant to evolve from it. So not all bad things come out as a negative result. If most of them actually come out with a positive result because it's something for you to learn. But on your spiritual journey, you will come across many different things. You'll come across things of different cultures, different religions, different times. Um, and you might be drawn to a time period from a past life. You might be drawn to the way the Vikings did runes with crystals. You, there's many different things for you to understand and for you to go on your spiritual path and go, right, this is for me. This is what I feel drawn to. I feel like this is what I am and who I am. And this is why it's so detrimental that for you to discover who you are on your spiritual path. And the first step by doing that is, like I said, number one. Number one is such crucial information for yourself. Number two, you work your way up. Again, it's all about an experience. It's all about how things benefit and how things make you feel happy on your spiritual path. Now, you could take it from a negative, you could take it from a positive and still have the same outcome. We are meant to have these uh, trials and tribulations in life. And this is where it's so important for us to learn from them, for us to evolve. Now, like I said, I hope you enjoy this video and I hope this video has helped you out on your spiritual journey. And if you want more in depth of what we said today or any other videos, please put a comment uh, in the uh, YouTube, Facebook, uh, TikTok, anything. Put a comment in and I will uh, look at your comments and make videos from them as well to try and help you on your spiritual path. I have learned from many, I have learned from all my life and the last 11 years I have learned many different things from all different religions from all different backgrounds from all different types of druids you know witches um gurus you know I have learned many many different things on my my own spiritual journey and I'd like to share and help you on yours because I teach it and you could say, most people call me a spiritual wizard, like a spiritual guru. I help them out on their way, and that's what I want to do. And if you like this video and you find it really good information and you're enjoying the content, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe. And also as well, please hit that bell so you get notified when I do some more videos of spiritual things and enlightenment. But thank you from me, and I hope you have a good day.